just about two or three more before we call it a night. And uh, once again, I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. Really yeah, do appreciate it. And uh, thanks to Camelot Lounge for uh, having us here as well. And thank you to um, the most unique support, well, the un unique act before us ever we've had uh, for Matia. Well, uh, I'm going to do a song off the new album that we just we did. We were lucky enough to call with Jeff Lang about three weeks ago. This is one of his songs that I wrote off it. And it's, um, well, we wrote it. We, we wrote it. I, I wrote a word. <laughs> just in case. That gives me a clue to what the song is now. <laughs> This kind of telepathy that brothers and sisters should have. It's not working. <laughs> so this one's called um, Apps and Eyes, and it's a song about. <coughs> song, how do you put this without being rude? Um, when you put anything fitsy without being rude, it's, it hasn't happened yet. So I'll just play the song. <laughs> anyway, it's about someone that's um, far away from me or close to me. Is that like this? No, that gives you a lot. Yeah. You can work on that. <laughs>
So you're none the wiser then. Well, we're gonna do a couple more. I'm gonna do a little bit of a washboard tune. This is an old song that I've been doing for 27 or 28 years now. It's an old song from a fellow called Robbie Wilkins. It's an old blues guy from the 1920s. I stopped doing it about oh, late 90s because some of the time I said, oh, that's a um, great Rolling Stones song you're doing there, mate. And it turned out the Rolling Stones done it, so which made me not do it. I think he was qualified because it was past the 1940s. I started doing it again recently, just mucking around with one. We had a really long pub gig a while ago and I pulled this one out and it sounded good so I've been doing it a couple of times. Yeah. I'll tell you a quick yarn before I um, go any further. About I mean, when, I, when I travel over in Ireland, we, we live in a van. We, we travel around Europe and um, I travel very light. I just, Take two King G shirts, two pairs of undies, pair of jeans, a jacket, and just me thongs, and that's it. You take your stubbies. I'm taking my soft, new soft suit this year, though. And, uh, and after every gig, I wash my undies in the in the sink or wherever we stay, in, and then I, I hang them on the on the mirror of the car or on the dashboard, dry them out. Next day, next day, etc., etc. And I um, occasionally lose a pair. Because sure, you stay in a motel room or something yeah. and, you, yeah. and you give a rinse after the gig in your shirt and just stick them on the, the heaters and stuff. He left a pair in Hanover. Anyway, before I was really interrupted. And then, um, so I kept, I lost the odd pair and I had to go buy another pair, not a drama. And I ended up losing both pairs over a period of a week or something. And I was only listening. We were down in some little Kenya or some little town in Ireland and um, she took me to this little pre Marty thing. It's called Penny's. It's like Target. But a lot smaller. A lot better though. Anyway, <laughs> so to cut the story short, I've gone up to the undie, undie section, you know, and then and all I had was them, remember them wide front ones with little diggy papers in them? They still make them, I don't know. Wide really. fronts. Wide fronts, where they are, and I laughed my head off. <laughs> so I hadn't seen them since I was a kid. And, because my old man used to wear them, you know. And then it reminded me of my old man that he used to say, Son, I can smoke out of my asshole. And I never believed it until I seen the nicotine stains on his damn undies he used to wear. That's what they were doing. Well, there you go. <laughs> that was good delivery on that one. Yeah. 